Welcome to Espresso with the Evangelist. I'm Dave Caro, Evangelist at Split Software, and today I'm with Trevor Stewart, co-founder and product guy. Cheers. All Welcome. Right, let's do this. It's the first week. It is my first awesome. week. Have a good time. Welcome to the team. Thank you. So we're having a conversation about the Feature Flag Edition, right? Yes. So yeah. big announcement today. Yeah. We're dropping this today. That's why we're all here. Exactly. Very exciting. It's probably up there or it's down there. I'm not sure it's somewhere around here, but we're talking about the Feature Flag Edition. Yep. Right, let's do this. So why are we giving away the Feature Flag Edition? Yeah. Uh, the Feature Flag Edition is something we've always wanted to build, something we've yeah. always wanted to do. Uh, when we first started the company a little over three years ago, we created the, the company with the idea that, hey, can we give away Feature Flags? Can we eliminate that build versus buy conversation? And right. so we always wanted to be able to give away that core piece of functionality, that, that foundational technology to the market. I've been through this a couple of times, right? Yeah, so yeah. we had feature flags that kind of were implemented three or four different ways, all yeah. in the same product, depending yeah. on which team was building them, right? Kind of crazy. It's crazy. And, and then, you know, the person who builds them goes away. Like, yeah. it's crazy, right? So just eliminating that issue, if there's a standardized, highly performant solution, yeah. then plug it in. Yeah, and I think you're spot on. And I think that's something we've seen time and time again. So my co-founders and I have built this a few different times at a few different companies. Right. And the same story happens again and again. Uh, someone builds out the core feature flagging framework. They build out that core technology. Oftentimes, they'll move on to experimentation. They'll build out the experimentation capabilities on top of it. And then they'll probably leave the organization. And that core piece of technology can be orphaned. And oftentimes, it doesn't get innovated on. So I can't tell you how often we go into a company to talk about our product, talk about feature flagging as a use case, right. and they'll say, hey, this is something we've been doing, but we haven't innovated on the technology. We haven't innovated on the SDKs. So sometimes they have really kind of entry level or beginner technology, that ability to really just do basic rollouts. They don't have percentage-based rollouts. They don't right. have targeted, targeted-based rollouts. They're pushing files. They're exactly. doing all kinds CLI of clever commands, whatever stuff. it may be. Right? Right. And that's, the, that's kind of the, the benefit of this feature flag edition, is that you're getting all of those capabilities within our product. Right. So it's a robust, proven, it is, it SaaS is, yeah. way to solve the problem. And there's no price tag for the part that's the core essential. It is, it is. And we give you more than that ability to just turn a feature on or off for free. We give you that ability to create as many treatments as you want. Maybe you want to have up to like six, ten different treatments. A right. treatment is like on or off. Right. Uh, but then we give you the ability to maybe whitelist users into that. So maybe you want to say, Dave, I want to show the on treatment. Trevor, I want to show the off treatment. That's usually where teams start. They start with that basic on-off whitelisting users to a particular treatment. Right. But it goes far beyond that. So our, our free feature flag edition also gives you the ability to do percentage-based rollouts. So maybe you want 20% right. of your customers to see the on treatment, 80% to see the off treatment. So canary, canary testing. Can do all of it. Right. But then we right. also say, well, maybe you want to do rollouts based on an attribute of your customer base. Right. So maybe you want to turn something on just for users in New York. We also give you that capability with our product. Right. Geo so, geographic or, yeah, or uh, any, demographic. Anything. anything. Any piece of data you have. 18 to 34s or whatever. Yeah. Or, right. Any piece of data you're collecting or using on your customer base. Right. The important thing, as you know, Dave, one of the things that Split kind of set out from the beginning is we never wanted you to send, never wanted you to have to send us your customer data. Right. And so all of this targeting, that ability to say, I want to turn this on for users in New York or users who pay me more than this per month or who have checked out 10 times per this in the past six months, you can make any sort of decision based on that data and never send it to Split. Right. So we're sending, so Split's sending the rule down to the SDK. The SDK is looking at the actual data and deciding what to do. Exactly. Right. Awesome. Yeah. It's interesting you mentioned SDK because that's really a lot of the benefit of this free product is you're getting those SDKs. You're getting those 10 right. different SDKs to use on your machines. And, and you're not just getting them in a stale format. We continue to update those. And so our free right. customers will continue to get the benefit of our continued R&D investments in our SDKs. Right. So this eliminates that whole, you know, yes, I could build it software. The funny thing about software, people say, well, could we build? Well, yes. Yes. Anyone you could can build, build this. You, you can build, build anything. Right. If you've got the time and the money. And the, but is it the best use of resources? Right. I think the interesting analogy is, is you know, do you, if you're delivering software, do you want to build the truck or do you want to deliver features? Yes. Right. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and it may be fun to build the truck. But every cycle you spend building a truck, you're not building features. Yeah, oftentimes people, they, the concept, they want to be able to build it themselves. They want to try it. They want, they're, they're excited by the challenge. Um, right. But after they've built it, they're, they're maintaining it and continuing to in innovate on it is oftentimes less exciting. So it's free. It is. Uh, it is free. Usually free comes with an asterisk, you know, yep. free checking. Yeah. Right, right, right. But can I use the Feature Flag Edition for like a full-scale app? You can. Any kind yeah. of app, anywhere, any scale? 
Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, any scale, uh, any team. So if I take a step back, you know, when we first started thinking about how can we give this product away to the market, mm -hmm. there were some requirements that kind of were, were mandatory as we thought about so this. So if we're going to do this, how do we do this for real? Yeah, how do we actually do it, right? We didn't want to give away kind of a skimmed down version of the product. Um, so we evaluated a number of different options. Uh, one was to think about, okay, can we just open source it? Well, you know our SDKs are all open source, so our customers can contribute. Uh, they can uh, look at the SDKs. They can validate them themselves. Uh, but the web UI, that web console, the ability to do that targeting capability, that ability to define your rollout, uh, we wanted to be able to give that away for free as well. And so how do you do this for companies at scale? And so the other thing was we wanted development teams at any company to be able to use our product. And so you could be an engineer working at Slack, you could be working at Microsoft, you could be working at Facebook, you could be working at a company that has millions or hundreds of millions of monthly active users right. who log into your product every single day or multiple times a day. We didn't want you to ask the question, can I use this product? And right. so, uh, well, what if I grow past yeah. this many users or whatever? Yeah, no, never. Right. I mean, that's, that's not the, the issue. Not the issue. And so you get unlimited monthly active users. Uh, now, one of the things you find is that oftentimes you may get them on server side, uh, but we do give it on client side as well. So that means if you're, if you're using our feature flags in the browser or on iOS and Android, uh, we give you that, that ability to do unlimited right. monthly active users. Cool. So it's free and it, and it scales, yep. but what's Teams in there? Size, what, yeah. What's in there beyond something I would just build on my own or whatever? Yeah, oftentimes what we found is that teams who have built that core feature flagging product themselves, that kind of V1, um, they have a basic on-off switch. That ability right. to say, I want, I want to turn this feature on or off for everybody, for all of my customers. And that's how they start. Uh, that very quickly turns into, well, I want to turn this on just for Dave. So I want Dave to see it. Okay. Um, and then it eventually turns into, I want to do percentage-based rollouts. This is a very common product ask. Oftentimes right. we say, I want to roll this out to 10% of my customers, so 10% see on, 90% don't see the functionality yet until I validate it. And so we provide that percentage-based rollout as well. But then there's that nuance of, I want to target my customer base based on any attribute of my users. Right. And so maybe you want to turn a feature on for users in New York City. How do you do that? Well, that capability, that ability to say, I want to show this, this piece of functionality to 10% of my customers in New York, we provide that as well. And so when you look at the, the free product offering, uh, we give you that entire gamut of targeting capabilities. The ability to whitelist users into on and off, the ability to do percentage-based rollouts, um, the ability to, to do attribute-based targeting, uh, we give that to you as well. Right, awesome. So, so it's actually pretty robust. It is, yeah. It, it's not, it, you know, it's, I dare say the word commodity, but we're basically, we're saying that feature flags, everyone's going to need them. If you're not using them already, you're going to be using them. And why mess around? Why sort of truncate what's possible? Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's make it doable. No, exactly. And I think, that, I think you're right in that every team should be using feature flags in some capacity. When we think about feature flags, they're such a foundational piece of technology. Right. Every software, every team developing software or, or looking to release new functionality should be using feature flags. And so we believe that they're a feature of our product. Um, they're a feature of our, our platform. Um, our platform includes a lot more, um, right. but the core feature flagging technology, that enabling technology, is what we wanted to give away to the market. What's interesting is it's the core, right? Like it it's is. the foundational core of it the whole. Is. It's where the scale is. It's where the the CDN's got to do its thing. It, you know, it's it's where it's the it's the core underlying bit. It's feature flags. It is. It is, and and we support ten different SDKs, uh, whether right. it's iOS, Android, all the way down to server side, uh, Java, .NET. We support all of these different languages, and so our free customers will get to be able to take advantage of that. They'll get to be able to take advantage of us continuing to invest in that functionality. Our SDKs are core to our business, and they're something we're going to continue to invest in. Right. So this is not a teaser. This is not a trial. This is not a light edition or a community edition. This is, this is the core part. Go for it. Exactly. This is the core feature flagging component of our product. Uh, we want the market to be able to use it free of charge. So it's fully featured. It's, there's yeah. a lot going on there. Uh, be fair, though, if, if we're going to talk about what's in the free edition, we should probably talk about, well, what's in it for me if I upgrade to the, to the full platform? Yeah. Like, so um, there's lots of information on our site about what the platform does, but let's just try to net it out a little bit, like you know, going beyond the feature flag edition, what's in the full platform that's additional value? So there's a number of different pieces of functionality and kind of categories of functionality. The first is all of our collaboration functionality, permissioning, audit logs, all of these things that are, are, are important for accountability. Um, those are all part of our, our platform edition. 
Uh, we also provide integrations, access to our API as part of our platform edition. Uh, we also have our entire experimentation capabilities. And so that's access right. to our statistical engines, our decisioning engine, um, the ability to send data in around, well, this user did what in my application, those track events. Those are all part of our experimentation pack. Yeah, think, think about experimentation, you know, like on the one hand, experimentation may sound, oh, well, I'm not a scientist, I don't do experiments, but there's nobody that doesn't want to be data-driven. Like, if I make this change, yeah. what's happening now? Yeah. I just push this thing, uh, I guess a thousand people are seeing it now, are they behaving differently? And yeah. maybe it's like, are their pages taking longer to load, or maybe it's, are they clicking more buttons, right? Yeah. So, what developer doesn't want to know, I did this thing for some kind of a reason, yes. what's the feedback? Yeah, exactly, and, and it could be a very technical piece of feedback as well, so what was the page load time, were there application crashes, but it could also be business me metrics, as well as did the user check out. Um, so these are all things when you think about experimentation, Right. and, and, and honestly, it's, the, it's the, what we've seen in evolution in these products, and so when we've built these tools internally, uh, we've seen them start as feature flags, we've seen them scale to team-based feature flags, feature flags plus a little bit of analytics, and then we've seen them evolve into kind of full-blown experimentation tools at companies like Netflix, uh, Facebook, right. LinkedIn. These tools have these companies have incredible tools they do uh, for thousands, experimentation. Thousands of experiments. Thousands of experiments. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. But we also have our security pack. Uh, so our free customers get a, get to take advantage of all of our security and compliance requirements. So we're SOC 2 certified. We're GDPR ready. Our free customers get full advantage of this as well. Uh, but our security pack adds in some of our SSO, single sign-on, SAML, 2FA functionality for larger organizations right. that, that care a lot about kind of securing the environment. And then the last part is our support pack. And so our support right. pack, if, if you're a larger team or you want um, a dedicated technical account manager or you want uh, onboardings and trainings, um, our support packs uh, help account for that. Yes, and a hard SLA. Like I, I hard SLA. I make, if, exactly. I, if I have an issue, I'm going to hear back this fast. Exactly. Right. Time is, requirements, all of that. Right. Awesome. People who've been following Split for a while would probably know that we have a 14-day trial for the whole platform, yep. right? Like if you want to try all the bells and whistles, 14 yeah. days, no problem, right? So does that go away? Is that still there? How do we get there? No, we still have a 14-day trial. Uh, so if at any point in time you're uh, on our feature flag edition or you're new to our product as a whole, uh, you can try out our entire platform edition. This gives you access to everything we've built and will continue to build. Right. So you can try that for 14 days. And at the end of those 14 days, if you decide you just want to continue on with the feature flag edition, you will automatically be downgraded to our feature flag edition Product. Now do I have to refactor or change any of my no, stuff? No, nothing, nothing. Everything continues to work so as is. So no change to my code, no change to the nope, SDKs. It's same just, SDKs as we mentioned earlier. It's the same. Right. So just like feature flags, it gracefully, uh, yeah, graceful degradation. gracefully degrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. So this is pretty exciting news. Yeah. This is a full fledged thing. This is not a, a trial or a teaser or whatever. Uh, if people want to get started, uh, do they have to talk to a sales rep? Do they have to like get, jump through a flaming hoop of some sort? No, what does it take? No, no flaming hoops, hopefully. Um, all you have to do is go to our website, www.split.io. Uh, click on the top right, you can sign up from there. And when you sign up, uh, you'll automatically land in our free feature flag edition. You're in. You're Just in. Boom, you can do We're it in the middle of the night. And then if you do want to talk to us and go through a trial and learn more about the platform edition, which right. we hope you do, right. um, anyone can reach out to us at any point in time. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like fun. It is. Let's do it. A lot of hard work. I'm excited to see it. Good news. There's still just a little bit of espresso left in the cups, so let's close it Cheers. out. Get her done. Awesome. Mm. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, you're welcome. It was fun. It was fun. See you next time, people. All right. could build all this yourself, you and you have yeah. actually yeah, more than have, once, yeah, right? Yeah, a few different companies, not me personally. Yeah, my, you've seen it done. Me, my co-founders have done it. Yeah. Uh, as you know, right. I'm, I'm not an engineer, but my co-founders are both technical and have built this product a few different times. Right. All right, well, that went nowhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. We're still recording. All right, excellent. We're always recording. <laughs> always. We've got plenty of film, apparently. Yep. That's good. I want to run out of film. So when you upgrade to our platform edition, uh, you get unlimited seats, so you can choose however many number of seats you want in our product, uh, but you also get access to a lot of our additional capabilities. We have to wait for the train. <laughs> All right, we so caught loud. the train. We caught the train. All right, so safety first. Got to knock that horn. Another intersection coming up. One more. All right, we're good. Okay, because we're not doing this at five o'clock. Be really bad.
people that are following people that people 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 <laughs> people in love with people. Okay, anyway, so okay, so me. hey, uh, um, <clears throat> I think I was okay, right. Um, I have a furball. Hang on a sec. No, uh, pretty uh, exciting, pretty exciting. Right, yeah, I got it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good.